مرحبا لكل حد المالتين كولا اللي يعيشوا لامريكا اللي هم ممبرين الجروب تاع الفيسبوك تاعنا وانكي المالتين كولا اللي هم ممبرين من مالتا ومن بايزي اخرى ينس من مايكل غاليا يا تاونك مع انجي هوفر وادين ذا البايز صبيه منس اللي يسمو نيكاراغوا Esperienza o avventura il vera sabiha specialment meta in kunu zoch maltin au neg fdan il pais. Atma ent aina ma shushin abel ima jena au neg flimkin fn Nicaragua o il vera esperienza mel lisba. Hafna mel lisba hengi. As much we would love to continue our little short film in Maltese, we're gonna switch to English because we know that the majority of new viewers. Um, understand English more than Maltese so we're gonna make it a little bit easier for you um, I started the uh, Maltese in USA group about seven years ago and that's how I got to uh, meet Angie through the Facebook uh, group and uh, little did I know that um, I would be presented with this amazing opportunity to uh, come to Nicaragua with a team of professional people um, with a mission to make a difference in people's lives Angie and, and her husband Lowell have been working hard non-stop to build a clinic in a very poor area of the country called Malpaisio. Um, she's been coming here for years and uh, she's been uh, there's been many challenges and, but the help with people the donations and, and and like I said with her team of professional folks this dream has come true and now the clinic is open and uh, They've seen many patients, a lot of patients over the like, last couple of days, right? How many total? Uh, we've seen a total of uh, 193 patients in the clinic and a total of 112 patients in Nueva Vida, which is a, 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 um, a town built around a landfill. Wow, it's, it's an amazing accomplishment. So, Angie, if you could uh, please share with us um, what the... Uh, how did this all start? What was your vision in the beginning? Well, my husband and I had the privilege of traveling to over 40 countries um, in the past uh, 20 years or so. And we were always very moved and touched when we've seen the way um, most people live in the world. Um, uh, just uh, the situations that they've been in, the hardships, the suffering, the desperation. And I have always felt a great need and a desire to do something to help and to make a difference. And um, what we've been to places like India and Albania and Belize and Honduras and certainly Nicaragua. And as um, our children uh, got a bit older, we also felt um, uh, the need to expose them to how the rest of the world lives. And this is how we started coming to uh, Nicaragua as well. Yeah, that's great. So you've, you have tons of experience under your belt when it comes to traveling. Um, why Malpaisia from all these places that you've visited? And even in Nicaragua, it's a big country. Why did you pick Malpaisia? Well, we had visited Malpaisia and we were just struck with the suffering that other people were going through over there. Uh, we got to know the people very well because we've been coming here for uh, several years, um, six years now. And uh, people that we knew um, were dying um, young from uh, preventable diseases and we really felt the need to do something to make a difference and make a change. Absolutely. And, uh... What, uh, what has been the biggest challenge so far in your endeavor? I think I've really grown to love Nicaragua and Malpasillo, even though it is such a poor country and even though the needs are so intense and so great, yet there is just something that really draws you to these people. And I definitely have felt um, like I've always wanted to be here. And I think the greatest challenge has been going back home and living home right now is the United States. But um, just going back to the United States and living there and not being here all the time, I wish I could uh, live here and I wish I could um, be with these people every day. I feel like we have so much to give. 
And I think the greatest challenge has been just not not being here every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what's the uh, Nicaraguan personality, especially folks living in Malpaisio? What, what are they like? Well, I've just been very encouraged and inspired by the people of Malpasillo. They are some of the warmest, most loving people, after the Maltese, of course. <laughs> but um, they truly are. They have tremendous hearts. They are very welcoming, very warm. They take us into their homes that are really made out of shacks. And um, I still remember our times going to... Um, some of our new friends homes and they lived in a cardboard uh, um, shack there it's a shack that they made out of old cardboard and just to see their hospitality and their desire to please us and to make us feel welcomed is um, just really really inspiring but they are uh, people that persevere they don't complain they work very hard and they're also extremely intelligent people. They want their lives to be used. They want to dream. They want to have a vision for their lives. They want to make a difference. And I'm also always very inspired to see this in them. I agree with you. It's very, uh, they're very tough. Tough people, they are. very resilient. And when you see, especially the little kids, um, uh, you can see in their face that they're already tough from a young yes. age to live in the environment that they're, they're living. Just to survive, it's their survival mode, I guess. Yes. Right, it's just, unfortunately, they they lack the basic needs to live a, a happy and healthy life. And that's why Angie and her team are here, to make a big difference. Uh, because, uh, like I said, they're, they're lacking basic medical um, medical resources. So Angie, um, there's about 26 individuals in your team. Uh, can you tell us a little about a little, a little bit about uh, what it's comprised of? You know, who are they and, and what they do? Yes, yeah, so we bring um, several uh, teams a year to uh, Nicaragua, and actually not just to Nicaragua, but even to other places like Haiti and Honduras. Um, uh, but um, uh, the team that we have here with us today is composed of. Um, uh, medical staff, we have doctors with us, we have OBGYN with us, pharmacists, nurses, um, uh, people with uh, medical backgrounds, uh, which have been a huge source of help. But then we also have just common lay people. Uh, we have people like me that really have no uh, background in medicine. Me too. Um, <laughs> But we are learning a lot, we have learned a lot, and um, we also have a lot of young people with us, um, uh, even teenagers and um, preteens with us. And we like them to come on these trips because we really feel that it inspires them and it encourages them to think outside of the box and also to um, appreciate what they have. I know for my family it has made a huge difference I have three children, two of them are college age, age children, and both of them have picked out careers um, that would be beneficial to helping third world countries. And this is exactly what we wanted to see. And um, we are so inspired by some of our teens and our college students that have come here because they have all tailored their lives uh, um, to helping uh, third world countries. And they have um, changed their majors and picked out majors that would really be a great benefit to the clinic and to Nicaragua as well. What, what I love Angie about your operation here is uh, you are, you know, your vision of providing medical care, it's, it's happening. But what I love also is the fact that, the, you know, when you consider the second and third order effects of what you're doing, the fact that you're employing local folks, you know, to build a clinic and also um, you're bringing students as well who have a strong desire in the medical field to uh, be able to experience and uh, talk to U.S.-based doctors about their profession and, and, and maybe get excited and, and realize that they can realize their dream of becoming a doctor, becoming a physician. Um, so, Yes, just to give you an idea at um, what the poverty looks like over here. Uh, we saw a patient, a uh, 15 year old girl just yesterday, who has a brain tumor and that needs to go for treatment um, 30 minutes away um, to uh, 
a hospital and um, she hasn't been able to go because she doesn't have 20 cents for a bus trip that takes about 45 minutes. And I think that is absolutely tragic, but people are hungry, they're desperate, they live in shacks, they have uh, no bathrooms, the bathrooms that they use and the toilets are holes in the ground. Um, uh, there are a lot of um, uh, preventable diseases, but they are so uh, um, poor, they are struggling so much that they would rather spend the money on food even than getting treatment and this is what we are hoping to be able to provide but i think one of the great things like we were talking about yesterday is just to be able to provide a vision and hope especially for the young people that live in malpasio i was told that uh, before we started coming here um, they uh, strongly believed that over their town was a sign that said no dreaming allowed in this town and yet things have changed so drastically since the, uh, the teams have been coming here to Malpasillo. And um, it was uh, just fantastic in the past few days for Michael and I to be able to see these young people that we hired to train to help run the clinic, um, to see them be so excited about be being able to contribute to society, to be able to feel valued and needed and it has been uh, just a tremendous experience being able to see the smiles on the faces and the excitement as they venture into a new um uh, into a new life really i think i'm gonna make it my number one priority to find that sign and take it down <laughs> that's because, right <laughs> um all kids all of all ages should have dreams and they, there shouldn't be anything that would stop them from achieving their dreams so um, uh, Angie for those folks who are watching this right now and uh, are asking themselves like I asked myself many years ago um, what could I do you know I've always wanted to be part of this and I realize my dream now of coming here and be able to see firsthand the conditions that these people live in and knowing that I'm making a difference even in just uh, it's just one child that I help, I it, 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 it fulfills my, my dream. So for those folks who would like to uh, um, make a difference somehow, what can they do? Well, there's a lot to be done. I know that um, uh, most of us, I really believe that, that most of us want to be able to help and make a difference, whether it's um, contributing um, financially or using their talents or just even praying for these people. Um, but I think um, we desperately need uh, medical staff right now. We have uh, several teams that come out here um, every month. Eventually it's gonna be every week. And if you have any kind of medical experience, whether you're a doctor or a specialist or a dentist or a hygienist or a nurse, a pharmacist, a chiropractor, whatever, we need um, all kinds of medical personnel to be able to help us. And uh, we do have a website that is up and running and it is called in his steps um, clinic.org, I believe the caption. And we'll, uh, we'll put a, uh, a link down below right here. We'll see you in a few seconds. And then um, you can go on there and check our website. We have applications. If you're interested on coming on trips like this, um, we can also make that happen and you can um, give in a great way. But really, um, we need um, medical people as well as donations uh, mm -hmm. for the clinic. Of course, it doesn't run on nothing. We do need um, financial assistance as well. And we do just want you to keep us in our thoughts and then our pray in your prayers. Maybe you feel like you don't have anything to contribute right now, but even if you uh, keep in mind uh, these people, people that uh, little children that search through garbage and trash, just trying to find um, food, uh, just keeping that image in your mind will help you be more conscious during your day of how you spend your money. I know um, there are images that haunt me. I know they haunt you as well, but it helps me to be very careful with how I spend my money in the United States, just so that I can have more money to give here in Nicaragua. It certainly puts a, a new perspective and on your life. So if you have the time and resources, um, 
and a desire to be part of this, by all means, check out Angie's website. Uh, you can contact her through there. There's an application that you can fill out and uh, just follow her uh, instructions on the website. She'll tell you exactly when the next trip's gonna come up. And, and they've made the my trip as smooth as possible, no issues, and uh, it's been amazing. I, I, this it's, it's been the highlight of the last few years. Well, I just want to take the opportunity to share just how truly amazing it's been to have Michael on the team. He is um, such a hard worker. You have been such a great example. And um, just the way you give your heart has been amazing. And um, it has been just a, a privilege and an honor to be able to work you. I am thrilled beyond words. <laughs> To have another Maltese person here and to be able to speak Maltese yeah, you don't to know somebody. What it feels like to, to be able to do that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's in great. Nicaragua it's has great. been absolutely amazing. Yes. So please check out her website when you get a chance, contact her, and uh, hopefully, uh, um, and even if you can't come to you know to one of her trips, uh, if you can donate anyway, medical, medical supplies, um, any donations, please help her out because. Um, every little bit counts. Every little bit that you can give will make a huge difference in these people's lives, especially the, the young ones. And we don't want we don't want to uh, make them feel like they can't accomplish anything in their life. So uh, that concludes our uh, yes. little little film, and we're gonna finish it with with some Maltese. And meringaciakom hafna li li segwaytona mispa li enje tisma menankom ikan kom shemis tosiyet nekujopom. Uh, it's with the site, okay? Angie? I have to say Ninso in this lady now neck. I'm an espera. He done a film. Um, I see it. Um, it's a new comp. He's that's both for Dougley. My my issue show neck and my issue full for Argabir. Grazie. 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 Grazie.